Good morning, boys and girls. Today, our lesson, we're going to be learning about the knowledge and how the Lord, our Jesus Christ, wants us to grow in our faith. Our verse, our memory verse today is 2 Peter 3.18. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, think for a moment about the trees and the grass and the plants. Think about what they need to grow. If you think that they need water, air, food to grow, that's exactly what God wants for us to grow. He wants us to grow in his word. Jesus is God's perfect son who died to take the punishment for sin. If you ever believed on the Lord Jesus to save you from sin, you can believe on him today. If you have questions about that, we can talk to our parents or to the pastor, or we can talk after class. Today, we are going to be learning on how to trust on the Lord Jesus, your Savior. God wants you to keep growing in his word. This can happen if you can depend on him and change inside. I want you to think about there's three different types of ladders, different lengths of ladders. Some are short for reaching things that are nearby. Others are for reaching things that are far away. Think about, could a ladder be long enough to reach you all the way to heaven? No. But these ladders remind us of different ways people try to get to heaven. Our first ladder, we're going to call good works. People believe that if they do good things and obey God's laws, they will please him and be able to go to heaven. But God said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's in Romans 3.23. Doing good things will never make you perfect enough to get to heaven. The good ladders, that is just too short. We have a second ladder we'll call the church ladder. Some people think that they can get to heaven by going to church. Going to church is a good thing to do, but God says it's not enough. The church ladder is too short. The third ladder, we'll call that ladder the Christian family. Some boys and girls think that they can go to heaven because they come from a Christian family. But God says that going to heaven depends not on what your parents believe, but what you believe. So God wants us to grow. He wants none of these ladders because they're not long enough. God says that because of your sin... You deserve to be separated from him forever in a terrible place of punishment. But God made you, and he loves you. And he knew you would never be good enough to get to heaven yourself. So he provided himself as the only way. God sent his own perfect son, Lord Jesus, to earth to die for your sins. Jesus took your punishment he bled on the cross, and he died on the cross. Jesus was buried in a tomb, and on the third day, he came alive again. Today, he is in heaven, and he wants you to believe on him so that you have a friendship and a relationship with him here on earth, and someday you will be with him in heaven. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shall be saved. That's in Acts 16.31. When you believe, trusting completely in the Lord Jesus as the only one who can forgive your sin, you will be saved from the sin's punishment. So think about it. Are you sorry for your sins? Do you want to live God's way? You can believe on the Lord Jesus. God is the only way to get to heaven. There is no ladder that will get you to heaven. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. And if you look at slide one, the story begins during the time when Jesus was on earth. There was a boy named Timothy. He was born. 
we know he was real and that he lived a long time ago because we can read about him in the Bible. The Bible tells us something special about Timothy's mother. What do you think that is? Well, she loved God and she loved his word. And Timothy's grandmother, Lois, also knew and loved God. They wanted Timothy to do the same. Timothy probably memorized many verses from the Old Testament. And as Timothy studied the Old Testament writings, he learned that God would send the Savior to take his sin from the, the world. So Jesus is the one and the only Savior God sent to solve the world's problem of sin. The Old Testament, the book, Isaiah says, put your sins, they have separated you from God. Sin keeps us from having a relationship with God. You learned from a true story in the first book of the Old Testament, Genesis, that God says things were wrong. Entered the world, Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. Everyone who was born since then has also chosen sin. There are some ways children sin. God is different. He is holy and without any sin. But he loves you enough. He loves you enough. And God is more wonderful than anything you can ever imagine. Many years after Adam and Eve lived, God sent his son, the Lord Jesus, to earth from heaven as he promised. And Jesus was born as a baby and grew to be a man. And he never sinned. In God's plan, he was nailed to the cross where he bled and died. The Bible says, but God commandeth us in love toward us. And that we were yet sinners, God died for us. If you think about the story of Timothy, he knew from the writings of the Old Testament that God was sent the Savior to take away the sins of the world. So Timothy made the most important decision of his life, and that was to believe on Jesus as Savior. Timothy was forgotten and saved from the punishment of his sin. He was forgiven. As he grew up in slide two, you will see Timothy grow to be a young man, and he continued to study the Bible. One day, Timothy met Paul. Paul was a missionary, someone sent by God to tell people the truth of who he is, how much he loves them, how much he was saved from their sin. And then he came across him. He came from... Lystra, which is a city in Turkey, and he had heard about Timothy, and Paul knew that there were more missionaries that needed to tell others about the Lord Jesus, so, and he wanted to train people to do this important work, so he wanted people to grow and learn about the Lord Jesus Christ. In slide three, I want you to think, if you know the Lord as your Savior, God wants you to grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. God knows you. He wants you to know him. God will show you the things in your life, and he wants you to change. He'll show you. You should be able to read his promises. You can help trust him instead of worrying. God wants you to continue to grow, and he wants you to live as long as you are alive. There's a memory verse. There is no age limit in this verse, and, and it, there's no stopping point. Even I am still growing, and I am still learning about God. God doesn't want you to stay like you are. He wants you to grow. In slide four, we see Paul was looking for someone who was grown in Jesus Christ. And he was impressed with Timothy. So he asked Timothy to travel with him. And he helped to teach others about Christ. 
And Paul became like a father to Timothy, and he helped him grow to know the love of God more and more. Timothy must have been excited to join Paul. He knew it wouldn't be easy. In many places, Paul had been treated badly by people who didn't want to hear the message. But Paul and Timothy faithfully traveled together, sharing the good news about the Lord. In slide six, Paul continued to encourage Timothy by writing letters. We have two of these letters in the New Testament, which is part of our Bible. They are called 1 and 2 Timothy. In these letters, we read about the ways Paul wanted Timothy to continue growing in the Lord. In slide, slide 7, if you know the Lord your Savior, God wants you to grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll see the word grow. G stands for going to church. R stands for reading the Bible and pray. O stands for obeying God. And W stands for witness. If you believe on Jesus, God has given you a wonderful job. Tell others that you believed on the Lord Jesus as your Savior and how you can do the same. You can grow in his word. You can tell them more about God and how he wants them to be your helper. Paul wanted Timothy to grow in the Lord, so he wrote letters to Timothy about these other ways to grow. Timothy chose to grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. In our conclusion, it wasn't always easy for Timothy, and it won't be easy for you, but growing in the Lord Jesus is sometimes hard. But nothing in the whole entire world can compare to knowing our loving God. It's more wonderful than you ever could imagine. For our reviews of today's lesson, how did Timothy first learn about God? Well, it was from his mother and his grandmother. They also loved God and they loved Jesus. And they wanted their son Timothy to grow. What is God's plan when he sent his son Jesus to earth? Well, that Jesus would die on the cross and pay for our sins of the world. What did Paul do as a missionary? Well, he traveled around telling others the truth about God and how they would be saved from their sin. After you become a child of God, what are some of the things you can begin doing? Remember the word grow. You can grow by going to church. You can read the Bible and pray. You can obey God and you can witness to others. What will help you do these things? God, the Holy Spirit, who lives in you. What kind of person did Paul want to train as a missionary? It's someone who was growing in the Lord Jesus Christ. And boys and girls, you could do that today. And we'll close with a prayer. You can close your eyes and say, Dear Lord, please come into my heart and please help me to grow in your word and help me to remember my lesson. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, your parents can download the activity pages on Facebook. All you need to do is click the link below the video to download the activity pages on today's lesson.